Hi, this uh, video tutorial is uh, just a quick response to a, a question from a, um, someone on the YouTube channel. Um, the question he was asking in here um, is relating to um, working with a file. Now, this isn't something that can be done in Python. So, uh, sorry, this isn't something that can be done in Flowgloom. So, when I actually uh, contacted him, asked him, um, he did say yes. It's a it is a Python homework he's got rather than a uh, a Flowgloom class. So I've sort of put together something quickly just to support this user. Um, hopefully it'll answer the question. It'll get you going in the right direction. So this is part A. He's got or I've got a, a text file. So I shall pop over here, and inside my text file, I've just called it names, and I've got some names. So I've got Fred, Wilma, and Betty. So this is already pre-saved. So what he wants to do is add additional names or append the names to the end of the file. So what we need to do is create a file name. So I've got file name here. Open the file. Now, if you open the file using the A+, that will append it. So it will let you add things to the end without overwriting it. Take in the new file, write it, and remember to write what you're writing plus a new line character. And then obviously at the end, you must close the file. So if you run this, and I add um, bam bam and press enter, it stops. Open the text file and bam bam's at the bottom. The, um, the second part that he's looking at, so let's just comment this out. The second part I've got down here, this is part B. What he wanted to do then was do the whole lot inside some form of loop that uh, keeps going until it asks him to stop. So the question was, um, write a program asks the user to print new names and append them to the file. It will stop asking for the names when you get the input stop. So that's fairly straightforward. I was actually, I saw this email today and I was doing this with my year nines today. So it, it's something we do quite a lot. So the way I've done it in this simple example, um, I've used exit code here. So I've created a, an exit code for false. I'm doing the whole thing in a while loop. So while the exit code is false, Take in the, the uh, input, so either a name or stop to exit. If the new name is stop, set the exit code to true, so that will then drop out, exit the loop. Otherwise, open the file, same as before, um, add a pen, then write it, and it will keep going. So if we run this, so if I put in um, pebbles, um, let's put in Dino, and then stop program stopped. So if I look back at the text file, okay, there's Pebbles, there's Dino, and they've stopped. So that's one way of doing it. There's lots of other ways. Um, you could use CSV importers and things like that to make it more efficient so that you can do some validation. But that answers the question that you were after. Um, it's not flow driven, but hopefully it's extending something that's, that's in your understanding. So hope that helps. If you've got any more questions, let me know.